along how to solve this exponential problem. This is k power 2 minus k power 3 equals 150. Solving for all values of k that satisfies this equation. So let's start by splitting this 150 into two parts. So we have 125 and 25. With this 125, we can have 5 power 3. With this 25, we can have 5 power 2. So that means k power 2 minus k power 3 equals 5 power 3 plus 5 power 2. You bring it over here, this over here. So this becomes we have k power 2 minus k power 3 minus 5 power 3 minus. 5 power 2 equals 0. So let's group them with common exponent. We have k power 2 minus 5 power 2 minus k power 3 minus 5 power 3 equals 0. So from here, we have k power 2 minus 5 power 2. Then there's minus and there's minus, here we factor out the minus. This divide this, we have k power 3. Minus 5 power 3, divide this, we have plus 5 power 3, and this equals 0. Now we need to expand this. For this, we consider this identity. If you have a squared, minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. And for this, if you have a power 3 plus b power 3, this equals, we have a plus b times a squared minus a d plus b power 2. And in each of the cases, our a is k and b is 5. So let's insert them right here. We have this is k minus 5 times k plus 5 minus this is k plus 5 times k squared minus k times 5 plus we have 5 squared. And this equals zero. So from here we have this is k minus five. We have times k plus five minus k plus five times this is k squared minus five k plus five squared that is twenty five equals zero. K plus five k plus five we factor that out. times this divide k plus 5, we have k minus 5, minus this divide k plus 5, we have k squared, minus 5 k plus 25, and this equals 0. So from here, we have k plus 5 times k minus 5, I use this to multiply this, this is minus k squared, plus 5k minus 25, this equals 0. So from here, half k plus 5 times k, this is minus 5, minus 25. In fact, k plus 5k, that is 6k. This is minus 30, that's minus 5, minus 25. This is minus k squared. And this equals zero. So from here we can rearrange this. We have k plus five times this is minus k squared plus six k minus thirty equals zero. So from here we equate this to zero and this to zero. We have k plus five 
equals zero and minus k squared plus six k minus thirty equals zero. To solve this, we move five over here. We have k equals five. That is my k one. To solve this one here, we need to first and foremost convert this equation to positive by dividing each part of this equation by negative one. So negative k squared divided by negative one, this is k squared. Six k divided by negative one minus six k is divided by negative one plus 30 equals zero. So let's solve this equation using the formula method. So we write the formula in respect to k. k equals negative three plus or minus square root of a squared minus four times ac divided by two times a. And from here, we have a equals 1, which is the equation of k squared. b equals negative 6, which is the equation of k. And c equals the 30, which is the constant. So we have k equals negative times negative 6 plus or minus square root of a squared. Negative 6 power 2 minus 4 times a times c, that is 30, divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 1. So from here, we have k equal to this is 6 plus or minus square root of this will be 36 minus this is 120 divided by 2. So from here, we have k equal 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 120. This is negative 84 divided by 2. And this equals 6 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 84 divided by 2. So from here we have k equals is, is 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 here is i. We have i times square root of 84. 84 is simply the same thing as 4 times 21. And this is divided by 2. So from here, we have k equals 6 plus or minus i times square root of 4 times square root of 21 divided by 2. So from here, we have k equals 6 plus or minus i times square root of 46 2 times root of 21 divided by 2. To cancel this, cancel this three. So what we are having is k equals 3 plus or minus i times root 21. So we have two complex values for k. We have k2 equals 3 plus i times root 21. And also k3 equals 3 minus i times root 21. Remember we also have one real value for k, which is k equals 5, which is this one here. You can insert this particular real value for k to verify. We have k equals 5. We have k squared minus k power 3 equals 150. So we simply have 5 power 2 minus 5 power 3 equals 150. 5 power 2, this is 25, minus 5 power 3, this is 25. Now, remember, k is negative 5 here. This place is negative 5, not positive 5. Remember that it is negative 5 because this crosses over here. So to verify, that means k here is negative 5. So we have 5 squared, negative 5 squared, minus, this is minus 5, raised to the power of 3, equals 150. Now, negative 5 to the power of 2 is 25, positive 25, minus, negative 5 to the power of 3 is negative 1 to 5, equals 150. So, negative times negative is positive, you have 25. 
plus 125 equals 150. So this is 150 equals 150. Both sides are now equal. So guys, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.